Okay, good evening. This is the Deerfield Conservation Committee meeting for October 3rd, 2019. And present are Louis Mission. Ben Byrne. Bill Mara, PC. Tim Hilchey. Okay, and let's see, we have some old business. I think we'll uh, get to, it's 198 Mill Village Road. Sun Mass Incorporated, some changes in the buffer zone and riverfront area. And it's a question of do we need to adjust or change the order of conditions already in place. So we have Chris Chamberlain with, who are we with now? Berkshire Design. Chris Berkshire Design. So if you could explain uh, Absolutely. the board, uh, the minor changes. Um, and so to refresh your memory at 198 Mill Village Road, we're proposing uh, the renovation of existing greenhouse for cannabis cultivation, along with um, a fair amount of site work, most of which is not in any buffer or resource areas. Um, but under a previous plan, we did have uh, some buffer work um, near a bordering vegetated wetland, um, as well as uh, some activity toward the front of the site that was near a riverfront zone. And so um, I'm going to take the two areas separately um, as to what the changes are. Um, but uh, so to refresh, um, this is 198 Mill Village Road, Mill Village Road. Uh, runs right here. This is the large existing greenhouse um, and uh, our site plan that, that yeah, was similar, if not the same, uh, when we were here several months ago uh, to request a notice of intent. There's a perennial stream on the opposite side of Mill Village Road uh, in an existing agricultural field. The 200-foot riverfront area line is right here, uh, covering a portion of the front part of the property. Um, previously, this was actually several lots, but at the front, three different lots, including the two single-family houses and the greenhouse lot. Uh, since then, through an ANR survey plan, those lots have all been combined, so it's a single property now. Um, this is the main access to the site, both in the existing and the proposed condition. Um, in the previous version of the plan, uh, we had proposed having our water service uh, continue to follow the existing line of water service into the site under this pavement. While some of that work was within the 200-foot riverfront zone, because it was utility work under pavement, it was exempt from the Wetlands Protection Act. Um, and so we were able to do that work uh, without a notice of intent, although we did show it on the plans at that time. Um, because of uh, a couple of changes, uh, one of which was discovering the, the poor condition of the existing domestic water service, as well as the need for Eversource to run a uh, pretty substantial primary electric service, which they would like to do underground um, through this driveway, as well as the addition of a guard shack in this driveway to control uh, access in and out of the site. Uh, this part of the site's become very congested. Um, and in light of that, and the fact that we'd like to um, uh, abandon the existing water line, um, as well as the fact that we have an existing hydrant here, which makes this not a great location to tee in a large fire protection line, uh, which we discussed with the water department. It seems to be in the best interest of the project and um, the fire district for us to move the water connection down to this location on the opposite side of the single family house. And so this continues to be the fact that we simply have trenching and installation of new utilities through the outer 200-foot uh, uh, riverfront zone. But in this case, because we're trenching through lawn instead of pavement, we are no longer exempt. Um, because it is strictly utility work in this area, it could qualify as a limited project, which then it's you know, at the commission's discretion how much, if any, of the, the standards of the riverfront zone to apply. 
um, but it is now work that we need permission to do as opposed to exempt work that we could do. Um, and I know that an email uh, was copied to the commission back and forth with Mark Stinson, um, identifying really for both of these areas, I'm gonna talk about the second one in a moment, um, about the options the commission has for approving this work. Um, if, if it's deemed uh, a minor change, it can just be noted in the minutes. Uh, if there's a need to um, update or expand the order of conditions, then there'd be a process for that, or uh, the entire NOI could be closed down and a new one done in its place. Um, and our argument would be that you know the, the extents of the project are substantially the same. The key factor um, is a question of, are the impacts of that project uh, equal or lesser than what was proposed before? And the things that I would just highlight is that uh, while this is now vegetated area, it is mowed lawn, um, it is on the opposite side of Mill Village Road from the stream uh, with which that riverfront area is protected. And the way that we'll do this work uh, is to trench, install the pipe, and backfill essentially immediately, and then uh, reestablish seeds and get that uh, back into a lawn um, very quickly um, with appropriate uh, erosion controls as necessary. Um, the second area is toward the rear of the site, and this uh, involves only work in the buffer zone of a BBW, but there were some small site plan changes in this portion of the site. Um, you'll recall this is the area where there's some wetland um, mitigation work to be done. Um, that has been planted. Uh, it's still uh, yet to grow in a little bit. Um, originally, this area of the site was always to be disturbed for construction, um, but uh, there was no uh, proposed uh, impervious areas or gravel surfaces there, um, and no real work done aside from regrading and um, allowing for the mitigation work. Because of a request from the fire department, uh, we've been asked to create a gravel access road with a setup pad here for a ladder truck that could set up, um, tie into the water supply of these cisterns and shoot water either to the greenhouse or to the opposite side of the site as necessary. And we need a, a sizable uh, hard surface, obviously, for that truck to set up. And that does intrude into the 100-foot buffer, um, only about 10 or 15 feet. Um, and then uh, while the fence line is uh, essentially as it always has been. Uh, just within that fence line, uh, we have uh, the need to put a security camera, not a light, it's not a light pole, um, but a, an infrared security camera um, to get good visibility on this side of the site. So those are, um, and then we've also decided to, uh, for site access reasons, take two of these uh, existing rainwater cisterns, large 9,000 gallon tanks, uh, remove them from this end of the site and uh, move them down to the other end of the line, freeing up a little site access, but it, it also has the effect of removing some impervious area from the buffer zone. Uh, and that is the extent of the, the changes that relate to uh, Conservation Commission jurisdiction. Okay, does anybody have any questions here? Well, it, it, so it sounds like the second one is a, in the event of an emergency, this has to be done to allow access, right? Correct. Okay. Um, so it's not all the time that there's going to be impact on the land. It's right. the, the impact is the fact that there would be gravel there instead of um, grass. Uh, there's going to be a maintained gravel driveway of sorts. Yeah, um, yeah, but in terms of vehicles going in and out there, um, practically never, I would say. Um, yeah. Well, hopefully. Right, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so, and the first one, the first change. Um, Just the water. Yeah. Um, and it, I mean, it, it intrudes in the 100 foot temporarily. Uh, it does or intrude in the 100, in the, although that's exempt work because oh, it's okay. under the road. Oh, okay. In, includes it, so into the 200. Right, yeah. temporarily. Just, yeah, correct. It's, just, it's grass. They're going to yeah. put the trench in, and then it's going to be grass again. So they're really yeah. not cutting any trees down. Or during the site visit that Louis, I, Louis and I did this afternoon, we noted that there's a, a really nice maple that um, they've already they actually shifted the fence line to preserve the tree 
maybe you can indicate on there. Right, so there, there's an existing maple tree here. Um, there was an original, uh, or an iteration, I'll say, of the plan that pushed this fence line out, uh, and then we noticed that it's a really nice uh, specimen there. So we actually have adjusted the fence line um, to stay clear of the drip line of that tree. Um, there's, a, uh, there's a large tree that I can't, I'm not sure whether it sits, it must sit on this side of the driveway um, toward the road. The work in here may be just within the drip line, um, but uh, shouldn't impact uh, the roots to any substantial uh, degree. Yeah, and I was going to say, you know, they have thought about this carefully. And um, you also mentioned that there's a time element that you, you could explain to us why this is, uh, why we should consider, you know, making this just a simple change. Right. Um, so there, the critical time element with the water is that the water department will not allow us to tap into the water main after November 1st until uh, the thaw because of the risk of creating an air bubble that could cause a break somewhere else in town um, and they don't want to be working on that in the middle of January, say. Um, and so we're tentatively, if if acceptable um, tonight, we're tentatively scheduled for um, two to three weeks um, to be doing the tap in the street um, with then the water main to the site uh, would, would follow on um, after that. Again, the work in the street's actually exempt, but, um, but then the trench into the site would follow shortly thereafter um, if we're given the go ahead. And, uh... Well, when we went out there, Tim and I did, like he said, and, you know, this is, this little intrusion here is for really safety for the fire truck to set up and uh, just for protection of you know, part of this area here. And uh, the same thing with the water. It's just, just a water line and it's a fire line going into the building and it's just grass area and it'll state grass area so yeah. you know uh, and after uh, reading you know the emails from DEP and uh, you know I, th I think myself I don't know how you all feel that it's, it's a very minor change and mm -hmm. to keep things moving for the water department and uh, yeah. the construction here uh, I think that you know we should just accept it with the minor changes and uh, you know, accept the new plan. So may it, and, and so it probably makes sense just to, it may, I can make an, uh, a motion to accept yeah. the changes with the, with, with just in the minutes. Yeah, the minor changes. Just accept the minor changes in the minutes. That we approve um, the changes. Yeah. With uh, no other additional paperwork required. And under all the original order conditions. Yeah, under, conditions. Just, under, yeah, so yeah. there wouldn't be, there wouldn't be new order conditions. No. We're, we're just making just the note in the minutes and approving the, the these minor two change, yeah, to okay. the original uh, order of conditions. You, sounds, you made a motion, I'll second it. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> you second it. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye, so. All right. So, uh, yeah, we, we have a sheet from the planning board, I believe, that asks for comments on the project. So I'll sure. I'll fill that out and it'll be in the office. And Great. It's normally we uh, don't have comments, but this time we have comments. Sure. So, and uh, I think that's... Okay. Uh, and I, I guess we can note that um, uh, both the commissioners and myself, we we noticed with the wetland mitigation area that there seems to be some high spots between the new area and the existing wetlands which may uh, don't exactly match the, the plans. And so um, I've noted that and we're gonna alert the contractor and, and get okay. that created as it was intended uh, as opposed to how it is now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. I hope the kids had a good time. <laughs> How did the soccer match go? <laughs> okay, let's see. Got so much stuff here. Yeah, here's the. I don't know if you read it or not. The, So 
we're just doing it because of the minor. Yep, approve the work as a minor plan change within the minutes of the meeting. Yep. Yep. I would say so. Okay. Goes in the box. All right, let's see. Uh, some other old business is the Mass DLT Route 5 and 10 resurfacing. Oh, you're all by yourself tonight. I am. <laughs> they trust you, huh? Uh, you know, maybe foolishly. Yeah. Okay, let's see. You guys got plans there. Up. State your name. Yeah. Uh, Sam Campbell, Creamman Peterson, um, engineering consultant on behalf of Mass DOT. Okay, let's see. We got the. I guess we got the new plans. Yep, some very minor changes. Um, but I figured we could just walk through all of them. Yep, yeah, okay. so, just as per uh, Mark's comments too there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so we sent the cover letter. So we just went item by item. We had five comments. Uh, first and foremost, we did get a file number. So yeah. DEP file number 142-0220. Um, Mark's first comment, the circuit rider for the Western Region, was that we should obtain the wetland flags from the Cumberland Farms project at 31 Elm Street yeah. and depict those on our plans because there is an, um, a valid order of conditions on that site. Um, so we actually already had those flags and we put them on the plans. They're in essentially the same location as the ones that were established during our delineation. They're actually slightly further away from our limit of work. So no real change there, still no impacts to that wetland system, but um, that plan has been updated with those flags. And just for the record, that is the... You got that? Yeah, we all got plans yeah. here, if you could. Yep. So if you go to sheet number 29. Okay. Sort of at the bottom right, you'll see the a flag series, yep. which is the wetland boundary for the Cumberland Farms project at 31 Elm. Okay. And then the B flag series, which is within that A series, which delineates the uh, stream crossing in that location. Okay. That's what he wanted? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Just because the order of conditions is still valid there. So yeah. yeah technically, the, for a while. Right. And the boundary established by that supersedes the one that we... Again, um, I don't know if you have the previous plans there. Almost exactly the same location. Okay. So unless there's any other questions, I would just... No, not on that. Or is that the only area he was... Yeah, it was one, right? just that one. Okay, that's comment. What's that, comment one or... Yep, response to comment Okay. One. Uh, response to comment two. This was in terms of the project being a redevelopment effort and needing to meet the performance standards to the maximum extent practicable. Um, our only response to that was that we designed the project to meet the performance standards to the maximum extent practicable while still achieving the stated goal of, you know, roadway improvements and safety improvements. Um, I'm not sure if the commission has any further comments or response to Mark there. No. I... Okay. Um, Mass DEP comment three stated that the applicant needed to propose some sort of improvement. Um, and to achieve that, we included a special provision for the control of invasive plant species on the project area. Um, so I have the actual spec item here, and I believe it was sent to you as well. But under this item, control of invasive, uh, invasive plant species within the project limits by mean of, or by the means of Selective clearing, clearing, oh, okay. and, yeah. yep, clearing and grubbing, mowing. Um, you know, tree removal is included as a provision, but that's not proposed. These are contractor means and methods. Planting of native species and wetland mitigation if necessary. Um, herbicides will be applied during daytime hours only. 
And the overall intent of this item is to improve the habitat value of the site, project, uh, protect proposed landscape restoration, improve future maintenance operations, and attempt to prevent future spread both on site and to adjacent sites. Um, so the contractor will develop an invasive plant species management plan um, and contact one of the excuse me, companies that's listed in this item to actually conduct the, uh, the work. And those are all pre-approved by Mass.Landscape. And that's on the third page of the spec item, some of those companies. Okay. So they have to pick one of those. Uh... Yep. And the herbicides that you're referring to, would this be like spot treatments? Yes. So yeah. if they found... For example, if they find, you know, knotweed, mm -hmm. they'll go out and mow it because that's, you know, effective for knotweed, but then spot treatment on the, you know, what's left of it. The root portion. To discourage, you know, yeah. recolonization. Okay. Great. No, um, sounds good. I think, you know, sounds like Mark was, was pleased with it. I yeah. He didn't. We sent him all of our responses. Yeah, I see and, that. Yeah, he said he was comfortable with them, so. Um, response to DEP comment four, this is the only other plan changes, or these are the only other plan changes. Um, this comment pertained to pulling stormwater outfalls away from the existing wetlands. Yeah, I did see talking about that. Yeah. yeah. So in the, you know, when we were here previously, none of our outfalls were within wetlands, but they were definitely close to the boundary. Mm -hmm. So we went through and found four that we felt were um, too close to the wetland boundary and pulled them back to provide an additional setback. Um, so the first of those outfalls is on sheet 26 of the construction plans, approximate station 103 plus 95 adjacent to wetland flag number 1-113. Um, so again, we pulled this outfall closer to the roadway, further from the wetland boundary. So we're now providing an 11 and a half foot setback from the wetlands and the stone pad there to provide velocity dissipation and you know allow for some sediment to settle out is about nine feet long. Hmm. And then there's an additional two feet of just vegetated surface between the end of that stone pad and the yeah. wetland. Yeah. And this was just achieved by sort of, um, you know, increasing the slope of yeah. the um, adjacent to the roadway, just to tighten it up a bit. Okay. Uh, the next Relocated outfall is on sheet 27 of the construction plans, approximate station 109 plus 45, adjacent to wetland flag number 2-114. Um, this outfall again relocated to provide a 17 and a half foot setback from the wetlands. There's an 11 foot stone pad and then there's six feet of vegetated surface that any flows from that outfall will also travel across prior to reaching the wetland. Yeah. How much did you shorten the pads or that pad there? Uh, some of the pads were actually lengthened. I don't oh. believe any of the pads got shorter. I think we just changed the actual slope of the, some of the pipes. Oh, okay. The... What's the next one? Um, yep, sheet 28. I apologize, there's actually a mistake in the station I included in the cover letter. It's approximate station 112, adjacent to wetland flag number 2-107. And at this location, approximate setback of 16 feet with a 12-foot stone pad and an additional three feet of you know vegetation prior to any flows reaching the oh, wetlands. Oh, just 112, you're saying? Yep. Yeah.
Okay. And then the final one is on sheet 32. Approximate station 134 plus 75 adjacent to wetland flag number 4-105. This one was pulled back to provide a 10 foot setback, about seven and three quarters feet stone pad and a six foot vegetated buffer between the end of the stone pad and the wetland system. Okay. So all of these initially were The only one that Mark actually called out as being too close was the first one on sheet 26. So we then went through and selected the next three and said those look pretty similar to the one he yeah. called out, so we'll just pull those back as well. Um, and those were the only ones that changed. So that's the only plan changes were the inclusion of the Cumberland Farms flags and then the relocation of those outfalls. Our response to DEP comment five, this one was directed to the commission yeah. Um, so we don't have any anything for that one. I guess it just leaves it us up to us. And, yeah, we're you know <laughs> at your mercy. Yeah. Yeah. If we like it or not, yeah. I guess I don't know. It's so essentially, that's what it means. Then it's it's now after hearing this. Yeah, these are what he suggests. If we want to add something, number five. If we want to add anything. add something, but I. Okay, <clears throat> September. Now, these plans are, they're not finalized or they're not stamped, so we have to have stamp signed plans. Yep. And so I don't know how you still going to go into design more or, or is this pretty much it? If we have approval, then I'll get a final stamped copy mailed to you if that is acceptable. Okay. Uh, there's, I got questions for you on this. Yeah, I don't, I Absolutely. does anybody have uh, any other questions here on this or? I don't, but I'm curious what yours are. I don't have any. Oh, I thought you said you have questions. No, no, I said, do you guys have any questions? I have another question, but it's not related Essentially to then, this. the outflows are in the same location. You steepen the bank and, and lengthen the, the um, the pads the to flow length prior yeah, to yeah to when they're out of the pipe but not right. in the wetland right yeah. so they're relocated in the sense of distance from right. the border rather right. than yeah location in the roadway exactly we did look at some of them try to figure out you know can we move this further up or down the roadway and just because of the existing drainage network out there it was right it's going to be too much mm -hmm. for the scope of this project to right to change do you have any other comments or? I don't have other questions. I, f I feel you know, confident based on the yeah, response. The changes in uh, you know, mm -hmm. Mark's comments, he, he seemed to have taken care of it. Mark hasn't, you know, he said they look, it looked look good. Yeah, that was the him, last so. I heard from him. So, yeah. I'll make a motion to go, go ahead with the condition of stamped. Sign off on it. Second on that one. All in favor, aye. Thank aye. You. So we're just going to need uh, a stamped set of plans. Absolutely. So for the record. Yeah, we'll print up the most recent, get them stamped, and then just overnight them to you. So you should have them early next week. Okay. Uh, now this is kind of related. Okay. And, but it's, I'm not sure, we have someone here from Atlantic Furniture? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, now it, it, it's it's a question on they want to put in a drive. Did, did you get a state permit yet? You applied. You applied. Yes. But you haven't received anything yet. Yes, subject to your review and approval. Okay. Of the driveway. Of the driveway. Well, what about? Did they mention anything about the drainage? I'm kind of getting off. I, maybe you should come up too and just state who you are and. Uh, <coughs> Because this is kind of related to this here, I got a question, a couple sure. of questions on it. So, I think we just get in at is where your driver is going to be, is whereabouts they're going to be tiddling with the road. Yes, <laughs> that is 
So if you could state who you are and sure. The uh, go first, Matt. Uh, Matt Plotkin, representing Greenfield Road LLC, which is the entity applying for the permit. Um, Mark Reed from Heritage Surveys, uh, representing Greenfield uh, Road LLC in this application. So as he mentioned, um, we did make an application to Mass DOT for a new curb cut at the um, yeah. at the old Deerfield Plastics facility, which um, Atlantic Furniture has been remodeling that building um, and gone through a couple different uh, permitting processes for what they wanted to do with the property, with the town. So um, one of the comments from Mass DLT was to um, submit the plan and an RDA filing or a filing with the commission to get your approval. So we've applied for a 24 foot wide curb cut that would be located uh, on the northerly end of their property to better circulate truck and vehicle traffic around the site. It's at approximate, uh, or approximate station uh, 11 plus zero uh, on the state plan. It's at 10 plus 98.45 to be exact. Um, and it's located on the east side of the road, right in there. Which, um, sheet, <coughs> num which sheet number could we see that on? So I'm not yeah. sure what sheet that's on. on Probably uh, 27, 27, 28, 20, yeah, 27. 27, that's, that's what I noticed right off the bat. Correct. And uh, you, you are aware of these, these uh, plans, right? I, oops, sorry. Um, I was not when we filed it, um, but subsequent, I did notice on the back table that the plans were there, yes. Okay, so just so I, uh, I make sure I'm, locating this properly um, is the proposed curb cut for the driveway going to um, be in an area where there's a raised median no no um, so it looks it, like it to me so is it to the uh, left or the right of the raised median on it'd be a little further north of that median but I'm not quite sure as to how much where station look I can if I can look at the plan I don't know it looks to me like it's going right into the uh, raised median. Yeah, and I, we're at it. Just the environmental scientist. So. Oh, okay. yeah. I, but I, it does look like. Yeah, I mean that's to me. I yeah. I worked for Mass DOT. I used yeah, to. Yeah, it looks. And you know, just looking at it and trying to match it up because they got the old stationing. Right. It looks like uh, you know, and there's, so there's no way that'll work with that setup right there. So that's a raised. You're, you're, you only got a, yeah. You only that's got a raised a, island. Proposed just raised proposed grass, grass median. Grass median. Granite curb. Yeah, there's <clears> granite <throat> curb. So you, there's no way it could be. Uh, the only thing it could be would be a tight exit, and I don't even think that might work for trucks or anything. Okay, well, the plan I saw didn't have this, so this must be a new. <laughs> this is what well, this is what they're proposing. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, was, right. Yeah, this is this is in the works. So okay, it's ready to start going. And what I was looking at it yesterday, and that's uh, right. And I says, oh wait a minute. I says, now the drive is going here. Mm -hmm. What would you say the, yeah, the so station number was you were looking at? That that raised. Right here. That Ours raised. is a eleven plus zero. See, that's so the old. That's the old. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's a further up. So it's one, not within the raised. So 111, island. you're looking at page 20. 111. You're looking at page uh, 137. Sheet number 28. Um, sheet number 28, yes. <clears throat> yes. And so where is it? So I can... So you can see where it says uh, the property owner zero. is uh, zero Greenfield Road. Now we're formerly Greenfield Road LLC. Um, to the right of it is, is. Are you talking about your plans? Um, I'm trying state, to. No. State, we're on, state on, plan on, on the okay. sheet. Can you come up and point it out to me? Sure. Yeah, because I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm confused. It looks like you got ten. They got root or number ten Greenfield Road. Just 
Right. So there's two parcels there. I think so that's why. So, so this right. is the corner of that building, Greenfield Plastics. That's kind of like the fence line. So yeah, yeah. The shoot out right here. So you're you're talking about right right in here, approximately. Yeah. So this is one parcel. This yes. Because this is the, the property, fence line. Here's the property line. The right. fence line. Right. <clears throat> okay. And then there's an existing drive over here, yeah, right. quite for a bit distance down. South. Yeah. Correct. And this is the entrance into Red Roof. Right. Uh, okay. Over here. So, so what we're proposing is is over here. Match line. Let's see. And are you proposing to allow trucks to both turn left and turn right Correct. across mm -hmm. traffic? Correct. And have you examined turning radiuses and so yes. forth? That's why we're going 24 foot wide, um, where the radius is um, of 15 feet, curve circle data, <coughs> excuse me, to allow trucks to turn right and left. So it's, it's further up to the Yeah, so it's this one, this yep. corner here, right. which matches up with that. And this is the other corner. Right, here's the, the existing curve cut. Yeah. This, this goes into Shelley or the uh, gas station. Correct. Yeah. Right. Okay. So then this whole thing is just that one parcel, and then this is the second it's one. It's made up. Yeah, it's made up of a couple of different parcels. Okay. So they're still calling it ten, I guess. Right. And then the town and their records for the northerly parcel calls it zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the zero, and that's yeah, what they yeah, said. Yeah, what, what, what did that go to? You know, because all I sure. know is we have you applied with ten. Correct. And I says, oh, something doesn't look right. Correct. You know, I didn't want you guys to get going. And Correct. <coughs> so, yeah, the, uh, the property that they own is made up of two different parcels. Um, there's a southerly parcel, which is a larger piece um, that Greenfield Road LLC owns, and a northerly piece, which is a little bit smaller, um, but the town refers to it as zero Greenfield Road. So 10, 10 Greenfield Road is where the existing curb cut is. Correct. Correct. And, and zero uh, is what? Goes through, from, from goes the, the building. Goes through the northerly warehouse building. Uh -oh. Yeah, the buildings are actually on both parcels. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Right. right. So it's not in that raised island that I can see right now? No. Looking at no. The, it's up right here. here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a little north of that. Correct. So that's a good thing. <laughs> and you're taking out a head wall now. <clears throat> that head wall, that head wall is, is non-functional. Um, there is no outlet across the street. Um, it is totally plugged and has been for umpteen years. Um, we searched high and low across the street, and they, actually their plans don't even show an outlet on the other side of the street for it. Yeah. So at some point in time, they must have removed the outlet on the west side of the street, and that pipe is just, the head wall was left on the east side, um, as they normally do, just abandon things in place. Yeah, that's the way, you, instead of digging up the whole road, just to... Sure, sure. It doesn't make sense to... No. You know, so we just left it there. So Disturb what we're it, yeah. providing is to remove that head wall, um, still put a culvert underneath the driveway. Yeah, um, on the culvert, is state, the state is uh, happy with a 12-inch? Yes. Uh, that was not one of their comments. Um, you know, there's really no flow in that area. Yeah, no, um, it's just, a, you know, for drainage and, you know, right. if there's, you know. It's more of a, a ditch or, yeah. a, you know, a little swale that runs through there. Um, in our site visit today, um, th there's the swale. It's essentially close to the, to the highway, and then there's a second one on that's the property inside the fence line. Correct. And um, do those historically ever fill up with water? Yes, they do. <coughs> um, so those are all drainage ditches within the project or within the site itself. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, they do. Typically. Um, because of the fact that the outlet is not being maintained by the state, um, if you look at if you look at the outlet that goes further down, closer to their existing driveway, right? Yeah, it's all vegetated in and filled in with 
debris and mm -hmm. needs to be clean silted out, yeah because it's it's not functional mm -hmm. really yeah. right now so since we have in in person so hopefully this project <laughs> right will the resurfacing is going to fix these things right we'll improve there improve are it. a number of new paved waterways and new outfalls and mm -hmm. we're removing some mm -hmm. i think generally one of the other goals besides pushing the bike lanes down. That's that one, yeah. yeah. Fix, the Fix the hydrology. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the the, uh, the alpha file I'm speaking about is on, on page 27. Sheet or sheet yeah, right, right up by the <coughs> existing right. driveway. There's right. a you catch basin. It, yeah, just north mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, catch right. basin. There's goes there. And <coughs> Excuse me. Comes down and then it goes. Sure. Into the, so that's the drainage for a large portion of the property right. and it's not able to get across the street. Right. And you know the drainage uh, channels that are on their property. Uh, you know they, they have been maintaining them and cleaning them since they've owned the property, cleaning them up. They need to be maintained and cleaned. Right. Um, I said to Matt honestly, um, you know you're probably going to have to clean the ditch going out there because Mass DOT is not going to get to it in a timely fashion. I'm not sure what your schedule is. Yeah, and the only other thing I would say is that those are actually flagged as streams so I wouldn't mm -hmm. anticipate any kind of yeah. removal of sediment from in there anything like that from Mass DOT they're not um, it's not like a BMP or a retention area where we have an O&M plan yeah mm -hmm. they're flagged as a wetland resource area yeah. so. which kind of which surprised. means they shouldn't they shouldn't even be in or they shouldn't uh, clean them or well, I mean, they all, I mean, it looks were, pretty well cleaned. Right, and these right. were built as drainage ditches, I'm sure, right. prior Correct. to the, the threshold for whether they become jurisdictional or not. Right. So. I mean, it's just like all the towns and the state, you know, you got all these drainage areas and they didn't have enough people or mm. time to do mm. them all, and then they start getting overgrown, in, uh, right. which, you know, they should be cleaned and maintained. I mean, it's, I think they're allowed yeah to to maintain them get in there and do right. clean them so i think it's it's case by case yeah i've seen some of them out there that are pristine and others that are kind of silky oh, yeah. i've <laughs> seen some where we yeah. started digging cleaning years ago and you had this much dirt you didn't even yeah. know there was concrete waterway at the bottom there yeah the it was a concrete waterway yeah sure yeah, yeah. We just they had to go in with a machine and yep. it's like but uh Okay, I just, yeah, it, just the way the, the number in here, just, you know, I just yep. wanted to make sure that you guys had checked their new, that, that island kind of Right, yeah, yeah that would not be good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want you to, in case you didn't see anything like that. Or, yeah, that would not be good. A big enough truck can drive over that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. They've done it before. <laughs> They'll right. do it again. But, okay. So I guess like, the only question I have is that so there's a big project about to start and then your project correct like will will they conflict but in talking to mass dot um, we're probably going to be first if we get approval uh, for this we'll be first any minor modifications that are being done we're only going up to the existing pavement that's out there currently we're not going out into the street into the paved street we're meeting the existing pavement and then they'll take it from there and right so if, if they've got a plan to widen or modify that area they'll, you know that's part of their project really separate so that we're just going to meet the existing pavement on the east side um, so. does it look like um in your reading of the plan that they are widening in that location no i mean this is one of the few areas where it looks like we're pretty much holding these. Leaving it this, yeah. Mm -hmm. And because I was just going to say, if they were widening, it would affect your radius. Radius, yeah. Right. When I looked at the plan, it didn't look like they were because it's pretty wide through that area now. So. Yeah, we don't have any drainage work there, which is mm -hmm. good. So obviously, you're going to have to add a lot of fill, correct, in there, and you're going to put in. Uh, culvert culverts, et cetera, to continue Correct. the effective 
swale that's there right. or two. Maintain the flow that if there is any flow can still go down to that lower culvert pipe further down towards their existing entrance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's the one right next to the existing drive right. that you're talking about. Right. Yeah. I did bring a picture of that old culvert I could share with you. And looking at the, the area, <coughs> so as you can see, the uh, existing head wall and culvert, you can't see the pipe. We kind of probed down there to see if we could find the pipe and couldn't really find it at all. And then I took a picture of this area looking south, kind of standing in that swale. Well, someone did dig. We, we walked out there this afternoon. Oh, yeah? We, Just the, dug, dug in front, Dad. Yeah, it's probably us trying to find the... Oh, right, okay. Yeah, trying to find the, the yeah. pipe. And no, because it shows it's plugged up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. And then I took a picture of it looking north towards... You know, coming so from here. Yeah. 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 yeah, this was all... There's no really in. defined channel in there. There's no... You know, Just a drainage swale that... Right, right. Chips. <coughs> Not a typical, <coughs> excuse me, intermittent stream or channel. There's no mm -hmm. real. Yeah, I would just. So the the, the, the swale inside the fence line, um, there was evidence of like a lot of new growth. Uh, probably you, that's cut back periodically. Is Correct. that what you're saying? Right, right. They've been maintaining those swales on the site mm -hmm. themselves. Um, you bought the property what year? 2009. 2009. Mm -hmm. okay, so ten years. Working a ten years ago. Okay. <laughs> Time flies. <laughs> so yeah, that those types of drainage swales need to be maintained and cleaned up because otherwise they, like you say, they back up. They don't function. They cause yeah. flooding on the property, whether it's their property or the abutting piece to the south, you know, without you know, proper maintenance. Yeah, no, I might. That was you can have one of the concerns was that entrance there, you know. Yeah, the right. Curve, the raised the island. island. Yeah. And, oh, uh, I agree. And the uh, diameter of the pipe. That's yes. All, you right. Know, of course, we're, we're you know, we we don't have uh, jurisdiction over that telling you what pipe to use. I sure. Believe right? It's 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 this is a state property for the highway, mm -hmm. but it's I mean. If it's in the town, yeah, yeah, it'll but be I mean, permitted through the commission. So, right, but that's not something. If you had normal, input, that's not would. something you don't normally, uh, you know, choose on the diameter. I wouldn't think. Um, it depends. Yeah. I mean, I've seen smaller because it really just no flow through there. But <clears throat> twelve inch RCP pipe, reinforced concrete pipe. Um, it's pretty much the smallest you can get. Used to years ago, used to be able to get eight inch reinforced concrete pipe. But so there'd be no case for make. And we're talking about what's going to go under the drive. If it, yep. So there would be no case for making it slightly larger because it's silt in. Because there's, silt there's in really the no flow. <clears throat> um, you know, there's really no evidence of. The only time I've ever seen water in there is torrential rainfall or a spring thaw getting. The Snow melting. Right. Well, I don't have the sign off paperwork for that. I got yours, and we'll sign that once you receive. Yeah. Right, we'll sign it tonight, and uh, but. Just have the condition of stamp. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we'll have it all ready, and then when you receive that, then. Yep. Just figured we'd wait to see if there are any more <laughs> changes coming down the pipe. Yeah. Then you'll be back before us. And when are they hoping to break ground on this project? Uh, I believe it's the spring. 20. So I think the ad date is December. Mm -hmm. So six months later. Yep. Okay, I thought it was in here to sign off on, on that. Or you guys got quite any other questions or comments? I I, I don't. 
No. I don't. No, it is a drainage area and, or it is a drainage ditch, I guess, and, you know, I don't, I don't think I see a problem with uh, putting in a pipe in the drive. Yeah, right, plan and if how far Mass down you DLT guys, is happy with it. How far down are you guys going to pave? Because I know, like, back part of that building's all dirt, isn't it? Right. So, you know, long term, there'll be some additional paving. But right now, just leaving the gravel? Yeah, this is just off of the gravel section. Right. The pavement's probably, what, 25, 50 feet to that? Right. The curb cut really gives access to the north side of the building. Uh, right now, the trucks have a hard time getting around the corner of the building. That's pretty sure. As you can see, bollards and have been scraped up and <laughs> hit. Uh, so, twofold. One, it gets better movement for a truck entering or exiting the site and trying to go on the north end of the building. Um, that you know is out there. Uh, so it, it, the curb cut. Not that we need to know this, but the curb cut isn't being added so that the property can be divided. No, no, because it's it's all building. Yeah. So you, uh, it, yeah, once you mention that the the property line goes through the building, through the building, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, the main entrance is the existing one to the mm -hmm. south, and it's going to you know be that way. But you're really difficult to get a tractor trailer truck around that end of the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see it's tight, tight, very tight. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, you're, you guys are doing the job right right there. You're not touching any of that area, right? Yeah, so, I mean, my only comment would be that, are you filing an RDA or an Yes. RDA? Okay. So if the RDA gets reviewed by DEP, they would probably come back with a similar comment to the one we got about Cumberland Farms and needing to use the wetland boundary. And if you're crossing that wetland boundary, there could be some additional conversation about the size of the pipe and mitigation if you're putting fill in there but that's just my experience with it so again I don't just as a heads up to you guys yeah. that right. that might be right. something you have to look out for so this is something that the, the state EP has to look at anyway so we, they, so it is we did send it to Mark Stenson right. he has not comment on it yeah. at all so um, I, as long as he knows, yeah. he got a copy of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't heard anything from him, and uh, you know. And you were anticipating, I mean, you can't do this work until the DEP signs off on it anyway, right? Correct. So, so the process would be for us to get your decision, forward that to DOT, um, and then they would issue the permit, probably in the spring. <laughs> Um, you know, to get a permit. So, but like I said, it's the work here is really not within the paved roadway. That even if they were concurrent, you know, yeah. um, I don't think there's any. Again, I'm not a traffic engineer. Yeah. But as far as the curb cut itself, I don't see that being an issue. I just, and my background's permitting. Right. So yeah. That's the only thing that I'm. Yeah, I, I'm. Of. I'm thinking our our purview is. Does it have anything to do with wetlands and setbacks? Yeah, and that's the only thing. And up there at Cumberland Farms, they got the archway, but that's a whole different, right? A lot steeper and everything else. And I know that I mean, if you're putting and it was a wetland up there, right? This is right. all grassed area, which is flagged as a wetland. Is right. It? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much a lot of the land along Route Five is was wetland. Right. And, mm -hmm. you know, the state has a lot of authority to do what the hell they want. Mm -hmm. And uh, so <laughs> I would say if there's no rush to just sign off something tonight, that it would be better to specifically ask Mark, is there going to be an issue that the state is going to raise because they're have, they have this project going through? And, and then, you know, we could finalize. I, I don't have any objection to it, mm -hmm. but if the state's going to require you to put in an 18-inch pipe instead of a 12-inch pipe and do some mitigation because it's within a boundary, then it would be good to know that before we signed off on it. That's my and opinion. I guess yeah. that's, that's my opinion. My only thought on that line, too, is, you know, DOT is involved 
here, DEP is involved here with this project too, yeah. and we, we know. It'd be nice for them things. to coordinate, you know, just, just a month, you know, month of ability to talk back and forth and just get it figured out because it'd be easier for you too if you know ahead of time, okay, we're gonna have to put in a larger pipe than we're anticipating. We're gonna have to be conscious of X, Y, or Z. Well, we did get a review letter from Mass from DOT and they had no issue with the mm -hmm. size of the pipe. Right, okay, well, that's um, fine. Um, Mark may not have one either. Right. But the fact that he hasn't responded either means that he doesn't have a comment or we should ask him, do you have any comment? Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's- We can approve do. pending. Any further comments from DEP too, as we well? We can just continue to to the next month and yeah. I mean, I don't have any substantive call. objection. I just want yeah. you know from a process I want standpoint. Yeah, you know, make it so to protect you. And since too. we don't have anything to sign anyway, do we? No, no, she didn't fill out anything. So our uh, office assistant there, she just retired. So yes, I thought I thought it was in here in the packet. She gave me a box, so. Yep. Right. So yeah, that would be my only concern. Like I say, with the uh, with the wetlands flagged in in that area, just uh, I'll con have to contact Mark and okay. And if we can continue it, and then uh, for uh, I mean, I'm the there are three other board members here, so I, I you know obviously I wouldn't I wouldn't be holding it up if you all three agreed that. You should just sign off on it subject to, I mean, that's fine too. I, I, my, I won't be signing off on it, but there's three of you and that would, you know. Yeah, no, Tim, I, I, I don't think that that would be the case with me either. I, I feel as though it's, uh, there's information that we need from DEP here. Yeah, yeah they may just say, no problem. Um, yeah. But, no, I, and since I, you can't I do agree. anything till spring anyway. I mean, that's your thinking, right? You're not going to do, do this project in the winter. No, because it needs paving. Yeah. So once yeah. the paving plant's yeah, closed. It'll, it'll be closing pretty soon, yeah. Right. Right. So we, we can continue this. I can uh, talk to Mark and, you know, either have him come up and because it's with the uh, flagging and everything with the, uh, the 5 and 10 project, yeah, I want to... Uh, you know, say something and then have them have you have to change it. Right. And uh, can I get a can you email me a copy absolutely. of your, your card? Yeah, thank and you. I can get a copy so, I think I mean, it's a motion that's made to we're going to continue, continue yeah. with with feedback from from DEP. We'll con yeah, we'll just continue for additional information. All right, with comments or check with DEP and uh. You can set it up for the next meeting that way, and then I'll have the paperwork too. Hopefully, we got. Do you want a copy of this? Oh, we got. Yeah, I, I can email you a copy. Yeah, email would be fine. Yeah, sure. And uh, so your next meeting would be November, whatever the first. Well, it's uh, this is this is supposed to be for September. Yeah. So. So, so we can. Well, I won't be here at the end of October. So that, you want to go okay. to the twenty fourth? No, I'm going to be. I'm I'm departing on the eighteenth, and I won't be back until November second. So, uh, but that's okay. I mean, I don't really have any objection as long as you got a quorum, um, yeah. and you get the paperwork. That's all I was basically saying. Mark could tell us tomorrow. There's no comment, and uh, we still wouldn't have the paperwork to sign. So what, do uh, you want to try to get back on the schedule of the four, it would be the 24th or Halloween? <laughs> so I can, I can make a, a meeting on the 24th. Halloween is not going to be possible for me. Yeah, well, I kind of figure. <laughs> it's the fourth Thursday, that's when we're supposed to meet. Yeah, so I'll get back onto the... <clears throat> So if we want, we want to next set that meeting up. is going to be for October twenty fourth. October twenty fourth, and we'll okay. see what Mark says, and then uh, you know, it could be simple as just signing right off on it. Same time at seven. Yeah.
Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm supposed to make a motion to continue? I think we had a motion to continue by Louis. And I second it. Everybody, aye. 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 Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Okay, here. Good night. Good night. Okay. Yeah, I went through all this stuff. I didn't even notice. You're not perfect, Louie. Really. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no Try to be. Why? No, Priscilla had it all packaged. I said, look at the box it was filled. All right. So what is this one? So we got a few things else here that were on the agenda. I'll have to put that all together later. Uh, okay, upper upper road, 222 upper road. Uh, Curtis Brown was wanted to discuss wetlands and a change in his driveway. Well, he, he called, or I called him, and I guess he called the office and emailed or... Yeah, we, we, that, we received an email about the private driveway and... That he, he doesn't want to deal with it right now. So, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. He's, if he wants to do something, he'll, he'll come back and see us. Okay. Uh, that's that. Okay, we signed off. Oh, we got to sign off on the Greenfield Road 5 and 10. That I know we should have. Is this it? What's this one? Oh, Dumont. That's the one I thought. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's. Let's do. Uh, what was the other one? Okay, we can. Continuation of, uh, let's see, where is it? Dumont Company out on Merrigan Way. Mm -hmm. We went out there, he wants a certificate of compliance. I took a ride out there and they got some grass growing and I didn't get out and look, but uh, they got the tree planted. But I talked to uh, Tony uh, Weiss, Wysecki, who's the uh, engineer for them, and he hasn't had a chance to go out and double check to make sure everything was growing. So he would like to uh, just continue it. He wants to double check himself. Mm -hmm. And I think it probably, they did some new landscaping, mm -hmm. and he wants to make sure everything is, is done. Yep. There's a lot of you know new grass that they did plant, mm -hmm. which looked pretty good. What I saw, but I didn't get out. And, yep. And I just kind of rode in, and so he just would like to continue this till uh, the next meeting, so he okay. can double check and yep. and give you know give his okay also. So, so a motion, a motion to, to accept. accept. Yeah. 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 Second. Second. Yeah. And, and uh, okay. We'll second it. Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye.
there. I might have to get you guys to come in and sign that. Yeah. Okay. If I can have to find someone to, I don't think it's, she gave me everything, I believe, so. Unless it's still somewhere in the file, but she said this was all ready and we're going to miss her. I know. Okay, so let's see. So we got a continuation of that and we got a continuation with. We got minutes, mail, any other business? The other business is. Uh, it's right here. We got another certificate of compliance that would like to be done. It wasn't time to put it on the agenda, so we didn't, can't really talk about it. And I mean, we can talk about that. What it is is uh, John Staberski on River Road. He put in a, a dock on his property there in the Connecticut River, and. He would like to have us to take a look at it to see what he did and because uh, he has to get a license and everything too. DEP has looked at it. So he would like to have us do the same thing, a certificate of compliance, everything looks like what he proposed. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be, he's, he, he can uh, be available for the next meeting, the 24th. So I will give him a call and tell him that we'll have, you know, we can put that on the agenda and uh, we'll do a site visit. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that, that's, that's that. Let's see. Five and 10. She was waiting on a number. That's you know the file number from for five and ten, which we do have now. Which we do have now. So one four two dash zero two zero zero. Okay. So let's see. So we got that. We'll set up a. I'll give him a call, and we will do the. Mm -hmm site visit and see if we can sign off on the certificate of compliance. Let's see, <clears throat> look at the, how's the review of the minutes of August, not September. Yeah. Yeah. see any um, problems with it. I think the motion to accept is written. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah, no, I just, I needed copies for everybody. And oh, yeah. That was, you know, when I came in to grab the box. Yeah. So that was the copy that was sitting on top, so. Yeah, because. I just said that. Okay, so. Do you need this? That's the curb cut. Oh, yeah, I need that, yeah. That's uh That's that uh, mill village. 
Okay, meal. Just about the seminars or conferences. Yeah, the fall conference on October 19th. Um, I'll be attending. Yeah, I'll be going. Unfortunately, some interesting things. Yeah, yeah see. Uh, Trevor uh, approved there, and mm -hmm. I checked with uh, Priscilla, and you know we have some money, so. Okay. <clears throat> had me a buffet lunch. Where is it this time? At Devon's. Um, oh, oh okay. Fort Devon. Fort area. Devons. Or, yeah. yeah, up in the industrial area, I guess they. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We have the end of the month report reviewed. Same thing, nothing's changed. Yep. We have available monies. Do you want to look at the. I peeked while you were opening. Oh, okay. <clears throat> He's like a hawk. Yeah, that's good. M A C C. We are members. Got paid. Got paid. You no, know, we got our 2020 cards. And you get your official card now for that, right? Let's see, man. Bill. Thank you. Oh. Ben Burr. Fancy. Yeah. Well, you're official member now. All right. I'm officially official. <laughs> so, that takes care of that. The other is we got a uh, request for comments. Let's see who's from the planning board. And that's on the 198 Mill Village Road. Yes. So <clears throat> I'm just going to put the same thing we have up top there. That if minor changes and we'll you know we'll accept it. Original uh, notice of intent with no need to change it, and yeah. mm -hmm. we'll accept the minor changes mm -hmm. with the plan. Uh, oh yeah, we probably had a. Let's see. Where's the plan? We should make note. On the uh, box. In the box. That's a big one, isn't it? Should make note of the new plan dated. Yeah. Forgot that. Okay, so we have a new revised plan. Revised. Plan dated September 9th, 2019. And then we'll put that in the file. Give, uh, I think that's it. I'll give Mark a call about okay. that. Yeah. Just see what I can find out. And yeah. He, yeah, it's a, you know. It's an RDA kind of thing, you know, where it's, you know, it's going to, I look at that as being more, more important than, you know, accepting this minor change on a plan. So. Yeah. No, it's it's kind of with the five and ten 
project there with them yeah. putting yeah. markings out. I didn't, you know, I didn't think it was too big a deal, but uh, no, no, it probably isn't. But it's probably better for the the applicant. Yeah, well, just know. to just to make it. Yeah, because they get involved in something and then they find out they didn't do it right. Yeah, yeah, and have to redo it. It'd be a big expense for. Yeah. So. Every. Okay. <laughs> Everyone. Set date for next meeting. So the October 24th for next meeting. 2019. And uh, we had a point that we can make a motion to adjourn it at 819. I think. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.